we begin with new details on how investigators cracked a 50 year old cold case murder in western Wisconsin. Mary Schleus was a grad student at the University of Minnesota in 1974. Her body was found in a snow bank east of Eau Claire. Detectives arrested an 84 year old Owatonna man last week. Today, investigators explains what it took to track him down. John Lordson shares the details. Although this case is very old, at this agency, it's never collected dust. The investigation into the murder of U of M grad student Mary Schlace began in February of 1974, when her body was discovered in rural Springbrook Township. She was last seen hitchhiking to an art show in Chicago. An autopsy revealed Mary had been stabbed several times. I think I speak for everyone involved when I say thank you for not giving up on this case. A stocking cap found at the murder scene helped law enforcement build a suspect profile, but for years that was all they had, until things took a sudden turn. Dunn County investigators say genetic genealogy helped solve this 50-year-old cold case, and a lot of credit goes to a college in New Jersey. It's a lead that we turn over to law enforcement, like someone calling into a tip line. David Gurney and Karen Binder with the IgG Center at Ramapo College. They connected with Dunn County last year. IgG used DNA from the stocking cap along with ancestry sites like Family Tree DNA and GEDmatch Pro to give detectives name of the suspect's relatives. That took them from Wyoming to Michigan and finally to 84-year-old John Miller in Minnesota. The Family Tree research in this case was very complicated and it took over a year for our, for our investigative genetic genealogy research to bear fruit. The fact that Miller was adopted made this case far more challenging. But in front of Mary Schlace's family, Dunn County authorities were finally able to announce that justice is close. Detectives say when Miller was confronted with the evidence, he confessed to the crime. Upon conclusion of interviewing John Miller, he did inform us that as soon as he had opened the door, he knew why we were there. In Dunn County, Wisconsin, John Lordson, WCCO News. Miller is now in the county jail in Menominee, Wisconsin. The Schlaes family plans to hold their own press conference in the future, but they want to thank law enforcement and the IGG Center for all their work.